Hey guys, so welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lani Good Good. So, like, if this is your first time here, then welcome. But if you are a returning subscriber, then I love y'all and I fucks with y'all. You get it. So, anywho, I speak facts. Niggas are trash. Niggas ain't shit. That's just how it goes. Anyway, not all of them, just the majority. Just want to emphasize that if you are not part of the majority there's no reason for you to get offended right there's no fucking reason for you to get offended i'm not talking about you i'm talking about the majority you might be in that one percent you might be you jesus and obama might be brethren you might be in the club of good men okay you might be in that club okay so anyway i've been dying to do this video dying because I just thought, you know what? At the end of the day, even though being cheated on is really painful, once it's done and you find out, the story is fucking funny, isn't it? It's fucking fantastic. So this video is going to basically be Lani, Auntie Lani, telling you how to find out if your man is cheating on you, okay? Your woman intuition is already working, which is what you need. Once you suspect someone's doing something, they probably are. But you need evidence, okay? Because what fun is it, riddle me this, what fun is it to find out somebody has done the dirty on you, but you don't have any evidence, so you can't smack them in the face, you can't punch them in the throat, you can't pull up on their yard and put bleach on their Louboutins. You can't do that. Why can't you do that? Because you ain't got no fucking evidence. But you want to put the bleach on their Louboutins. You want to put the bleach on their freaking, um, you know, <laughs> Balenciagas. Yeah? You want to burn their little, little Balmain t-shirt. Balma t-shirt. That's what you want to do. But you need some fucking evidence. Yeah? His fucking Rolex. You want to fucking smash it on the wall. <laughs> smash it on the wall. Yeah, his TV. You want to push it on the ground smash into a million pieces and if you're really crazy the whip the mercedes outside the range rover outside you want to go for you want to go with a with a big bat pow lock off that's what you want to do but we need evidence so this is how you do it sis this is how you find if he's cheating on you uh, uh, on you on you this is how you find out uh, uh. okay so tip one tip one this is okay so i'm gonna give you four tips because the these four tips are like sick tips to find out to, to catch him cheating but um some of them are of the first one is very obvious but the reason i'm giving you this tip is because this is the one that's worked for me the most i'm not gonna lie to you yeah now you have to have balls to do this one So tip one, tip one, very fucking obvious, bro. Very fucking obvious, it's looking at you right in the eye. If you think he's cheating on you and you have a suspicions of a particular bitch, right? You don't even have to have ed evidence, yeah? I'm just talking about your gut, like there's a girl at work and you just think, mm, let's just say one day you found out that she cooked him lunch, all right? And you just think, mm, Why is, she, why is she cooking you lunch? Like, what? You know them once, yeah? Or, or, there's a family friend, yeah? And you, and you just, you just get a, you just get a, a, a feeling in your gut. You get a funny feeling. You saw a little, little, little interaction between them two and you thought, mm, mm, mm. You even saw maybe something a bit suspect on his phone. But it's not, not too alarming, but it's your gut. Let me tell you something, sis. Or, you heard like someone was just like, oh, he, he, when he was away or when he was on holiday or when he wasn't doing this or when he was whatever, away with his guys, there was this particular girl that he looked a bit cozy with. And then he tells you, you lot are bugging. She's like, you're so like fucking insecure. Um, let it go. And you just think, mm, mm, mm. let me tell you something, sis. Just ask the girl. That's basically the way i have caught a lot of people just go and ask the girl i know a lot of people don't have guts to do this but trust me this works going to ask the girl is one of the best freaking ways to find out what he's doing 
let me tell you my story real quick so i was told that my babes because my babes was in studio i was told that my babes was in studio and he was cuddling with some um pretty girl like she was in studio with him on her snap though um so my friend said on her snap she was in the studio with your with your man in it but obviously in studio a lot of there, there can be a lot of people in studio like loads of girls and at the end of the day that can just be somebody that's your friend a fan whatever but at the end of the day she was a pretty girl so i thought <laughs> yeah do you think i'm stupid like do you know what i mean so i dm'd her and i basically said how do you know what's his face what's up with you two I just basically said it and then he found out within 0 0.5 seconds because she was screenshotted it and sent it to him and he called me and basically said to me if i ever do anything like that again if i ever go ask some any female about us it's lock off manipulation manipulation telling me it's lock off Mm -hmm. You see, he was trying to make me feel guilty. Like, I'm stupid. Why am I talking to random girls about us? I'm insecure. Is it? I'm insecure, yeah? Let me tell you what happened. Couple months down the line, I think she got an itch. I think she got a big itch about me. She came back in my DMs and said, Babe, you know what? I'm sorry for airing you that time. But basically, what are you two? I said, huh? Oh. I said, he's my, he's my babes. That's my, that's my man. That's my, my heart. That's my heartbeat. And she was like, oh, okay, he's my boyfriend. So there you go. I found out he had two girlfriends just like that, just because I fucking asked. You DM a girl, how do you know what's his face? Are you not doing a thing? More time, I'm coming to you as a woman. Do that chat. I'm coming to you as a woman. And you'll, you'll find out. However, let's go for the other tips. Let's go for the other tips if you don't want to do that. Or you haven't got any person to suspect. Do you get it? Now, in this day and age, it's very difficult to hack phones, okay? But let me give you my my best, most favorite way to find out if your man is cheating on you. Cheating on you. This is the my favorite, favorite way. Now, there's this incredible app that most of us use in the UK and a lot of people use in Europe. A lot of people in the world use it, yeah? And it's called fucking WhatsApp, yeah? And WhatsApp thought to themselves you know what i want to make something for the ladies i want to make something for the ladies and that thing that they mean for the ladies is called whatsapp web whatsapp web is your best fucking friend you understand whatsapp web is the way to find out if your nigga is cheating on you yeah because whilst he's on his phone texting diana texting bianca texting chantel you can be right there watching his you get it and when you find out you can pull up on him and say what's good babes who Chantel <laughs> smash his car lock it off yeah that's what we want yeah that's what we want to do that's what we want to find out so this is what you do with whatsapp web yeah now I don't know how close you and your boyfriend are but you need to stage you need to stage a scenario where whereby you can't use your phone like your phone is dead or whatever and you need to have his phone even if it is for five seconds you need to have his phone to say can i order food on your phone can i um yeah can i order food on your phone can i um call my mom can i do this that type of shit because this is what i want you to do I need you to be around him with your computer, your laptop. You need to have your laptop open on the WhatsApp, and then Google WhatsApp web, and then it'll ask you to scan the, 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 the barcode, the QR thing, right? All you need to do is have his phone for five seconds, quickly go into WhatsApp, go into um, settings, WhatsApp web, and put the, the phone on the, um, com on the computer screen that is literally all you need to do so you need to figure out a way to obtain his phone to call your mom to order food for five seconds and the thing is sometimes when you're catching someone sometimes you have to actually put in a lot of work i want to say something patience is a virtue if you really want this evidence sometimes you have to play a role this is very important what i'm saying to you listen very carefully if you're the type of girl, which I have done in the past, and it's a big mistake, who is very suspicious, 
and you're always like oh like like who is that or where are you going like the person you're dating is going to be on high alert because they know you're suspicious they know that you know something so you don't want to do that you don't want to be suspicious you want to act cool calm and collected you want to act like you trust them <laughs> yeah it's an act the reason you want to do that okay i can't talk you can go in and i'll talk while you're in there yeah, you go in quickly. Oh. Edit it out. Obviously. What was, I, what was I saying? You have to act cool, calm and collected for the simple reason being that they have to feel comfortable, that God has to go down around you. They can't be like on top game when they're around you or else it'll be very difficult for you to catch them doing what they're doing. So you need to play a role for a couple of months, whether it's one, two or three. I know it's hard sis but you need to do that you need to not ask about who that bitch is where was you you need to act calm fam calm like you're some cool like you're some naive girl that's what you need to make him think you're naive you do, you're not stressed about nothing you're cool you just you, you, you're calm you're so sweet even if he does something mad suspect in front of you you just be like you look cute babes that's what you should do so then it's it is more likely when somebody thinks that you're this naive person when you do say to them babes babes my phone started do you mind if i just call my mum because because basically like i need to feed the cat and like i haven't told her i haven't fed him yet do you mind if i use it because he just thinks that you're this naive girl he might unlock the phone he might give it to you and look at what you're doing and then you call your mum and you be like I'm just calling mummy but you need okay so the first time you do it calm let's say he watches you you give it straight to him back um try again a second time if you didn't it didn't succeed eventually because he he knows you're not the type of girl that suspects that kind of stuff eventually you will get the phone and he might might like the best way I can say is let's just to say you're you've given you he's given you a phone to call your mom, call your brother, call your sister, call your cousin, call your virgin. And then you like calling them, but you're just like, babe, I'm just gonna grab a biscuit. Yeah, do you want one? Or you do it when you're making a cup of tea. So you're just calling your mom, yeah, hi mom, hi mom, and you're making a cup of tea for him. And then um um while you're making the tea, you put the phone down and you quickly go, you quickly just yeah, on a sliding scan the barcode scan the barcode because let me tell you something once you have access once you have access once you have access to whatsapp web your life is lit everything you want to know is in there the conversations with the best friend because that's where you need to go because the best friend has all the tea the conversations with the man them the conversation with the bitch okay that's what you need to do and let me let me let me make something very very clear with whatsapp web it only really works if the person is in close pres proximity to you but that's great because when next time you have netflix and chill at his house you bring your laptop yeah because you have to remember whatsapp web shows you conversations he had yesterday yesterday the day before last week last month it shows you everything so what you need to do is you need to pattern up you get all this stuff yeah in you get all the stuff you need um so you you he comes around you would do whatever then you you lot are chilling he's on his phone or he, he's 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 i don't know what he's doing he's he's doing something and then you just go onto the laptop babes what i advise you to do because maybe you don't have time to sit there and read through everything you go through conversation conversation screenshot 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 and then when he leaves your house you're gonna have a field day baby girl field bloody day Let me tell you something, if you can get into that WhatsApp web, all your answers, all your prayers, everything you want to know will be in that phone. So make sure you do that, okay? Now, the third way, and this third way, I'm not going to lie to you, is epic as well. It's very, very, very epic. But actually, no, you know what? Let me give you one more tip before I move to the, a very epic way to get to find out yeah the third tip i can say to you is to pretend you know because some men are stupid and will confess so um if you go to someone and you basically say are you gonna tell me or because i want to hear it from your mouth before 
someone else comes and tells me this shit. So, are you gonna tell me? People have been talking, and I just need you to tell me the story from your mouth, from your point of view, because it's embarrassing. How can you allow another person, how can you allow another woman or another man to come into my space and humiliate me by telling me some information about you that I shouldn't be hearing? So are you gonna tell me what you did or are you gonna continue to disrespect me? Because you need to give me the little bit of dignity that I have left by telling me what the fuck happened. Because I don't understand how you, number one, betrayed my trust, did what you did, and then now you allow other people to know about it to the point where I have to be embarrassed and humiliated because you haven't given me the heads up about what you're doing behind my back. That is what you say to him. And then if he denies it, denies it, denies it, don't talk to him for a week. You keep saying, are you gonna tell me what you did? I already freaking know, obviously. But when are you gonna freaking confess? If you don't confess, well done, that's what you say to him. And then, eventually, a lot of guys will confess. I have caught a cheater like that, I'm not gonna lie to you. I basically said to him, I will respect you more and there will be a chance of us con um, reconciling if you confess. If you don't confess, there is no chance for us because this, this is disgusting. You need to now confess because we need to work on what's the problem in our relationship. And he confessed. And I didn't really know nothing, if I'm honest. Like, I didn't know as much as I said I did. But you can do that. That's a very good move. But we're going to move on to the fourth, because the fourth is sick. Because I like to do, I like to do this detective stuff. So the fourth way, which is a sick way, is the earpod thing. Yeah, mum, what do you want? Huh? Oh. Where is it? There. Oh, this one? Yeah, with the thing. There you go. Don't worry, Mum. I can cut the video off. So, yeah, we'll put it in. Definitely won't. Okay, so the fourth way is earpods. So, what are you. Oh, God, what's happening? So, guys. Like I was saying, the fourth way is the earpod thing. Like, I don't know if you've heard about it, but basically, earpods um, can listen into your phone at any given time. Any given time. So, as long as your earpods are connected to your phone, you can listen to whatever's happening in that room. And the reason this is dope is because it allows you to eavesdrop. Now, I'm hoping for your sake that your boyfriend does talk on the phone, does send voice notes, because if he doesn't, then this isn't gonna work, because this is like a hearing thing. So if he does talk on the phone, if he does send voice notes, what you need to do is you need to, unfortunately, you need to leave your phone planted somewhere where you think he talks. It might be his car, because a lot of people on put speaker on in their whip. So it might be his car, and it might be his, um, it might be his, um, his bedroom, like pillow talk at night. If you think he's having a proper affair, like a girl, like, like who's bae, you know what I mean? Like you proper think he's seeing someone that he likes. So you need to, you need to decide um, where you want to plant the phone. Personally, for me, in my experience, a lot of boys do talk in their car. They, they, they drive and they whip and then, you know, they, they go on speakerphone and stuff like that. So, on loudspeaker. So for me, the car is perfect. What you do is apparently that it doesn't make any noise. So your phone needs to be on complete silence because he can't know your phone is there. Your phone needs to be on silent and your phone needs to be... So hide it somewhere in the car. Maybe the glove compartment, whatever. When he's not looking. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, hide, hide your phone in your car. But before you do that, you have, to, you have to do the settings. So in order for you to be able to hack the earphone thing, the, the, the earphones to your phone so you can eavesdrop into his conversations you need to on your control center make your there's like a ear listening there's like a listening um what, what would i want to call it it's like a listening setting that you put on control center there's loads of videos that show you how to do it properly i'm not gonna sit here and demonstrate but where you, you can google it you basically need to say earpods eavesdropping into youtube and it'll show you or google 
but yeah you what you do is the control control center um you do this listening thing and then there's an ear that pops up and then basically every time you take your ear your ear pods out of the box you can hear the room basically and that will help you because you can literally when you feel like he's driving you can take the ear pods out you, do you know what I mean? Or like every so often you can take the earpods out and listen. Uh, obviously the thing is with phones is they don't have a lot of battery. And I don't know if this can work. It probably can't work on airplane mode. Um, I would say to you, if you want your battery to last a really long time, you need to stop the other apps that drain it. So for the purpose of this task, if, I, if I'm really honest, what I would do is I would probably delete stuff. I'll delete Instagram, I'll delete Twitter, I would delete whatsapp i would just delete all the apps that drain it so that um, my phone can last as long as possible um the thing is if someone's cheating on you they probably talk to the person at least at least they'll talk to the person once in two days or three so then the, th the only thing i will say is it will be weird because when he calls you it'll be like you know he's got your he's got your phone so he won't be able to call you so like if you really want to do this and you're really smart like i would if you have like a lot of people have two phones a really old phone and stuff like that and if, if i was you what i would do is i would um i would um basically have a, my, a phone for me and i'll have a phone for this task maybe whether it's an old phone or whatever i don't know if it, if the eavesdropping can work on old phones so you might have to use the old phone as your normal phone uh, who knows but you need to have two phones so he can still call you he doesn't suspect anything of course and then you also have the other phone that is um implanted in his space and then the next time you're there you just take it out because you know where you left it and um you hear everything you need to hear babes you'll hear everything you need to hear listen anyway listen i didn't realize that this um video will be so long and i only gave you four tips but i give you four sick tips are you dumb i actually wish i had a man so i could do this what sounds fun as fuck are you actually joking me like are you actually joking me the what's up one I, i've never had a guy like really be that comfortable to let me like i had one boyfriend who was but like of recent i haven't had a, a boyfriend that comfortable to let me just have his phone enough for me to scan it but i know some girls can't have done it have managed to do that because where they, the guy tries to act open he does let them have their phone for a bit so they could they could actually pattern the whole whatsapp web thing i couldn't for me out of all of these it's number one confronting the girl and i defo 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 will do the, the um earpod thing i could definitely do that i got time as well i have time i have time so i will sit there mm, with my pop porn and be like so that's what you're is that what you're saying to michelle the f I have time. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'll be there in a bit, babes. Get me with that ting for me. Get me. That's what you need to hear. With that ting for me that I like. You're gonna be good for daddy. That's what you need to hear. Then you know that he's fucked. You can get a name. You can get all that shit. And, and to be honest with you, because a lot of guys, a lot of niggas ain't shit, and they want evidence. You know. When you realise that the conversation is getting juicy, record it. Record it. Record it. So that when you go to him, you have evidence. And to be honest, you don't have to do that. You can just go to him with the information you know. So if you know he's seeing a girl called Rochelle, she lives in East London. She's, well, you might not know her age, but you know, she, she has this pink, naughty um, set that he likes. Then you go to him and say, Who's Rochelle? You like when she was that pink thing for you, yeah? Do you think I'm stupid? That's what you do, babes, all right? But I hope, guys, that you love this video. I hope it helped you. I hope it helps you catch somebody. But you know what? On a serious note, even better, if you find out that somebody's actually being loyal to you, then girl, girl, congratulations. That is a good thing. That's a blessing. Like, as much as I like to joke and... Hi, guys. So, basically... I was going to like leave the um I was gonna leave the video there but I missed one tip out and as much as I'd like to just walk away I thought to myself 
I can't not give them this tea tip because it's so good and it's so juicy and I don't know why I forgot it. So I just had to make a cute little snap um, to, to tell you the fifth tip, which is absolutely dope. Um, for the ladies that do get access to their guys' phones, I want you to do this. I want you to share your location indefinitely. If you don't know what that is, that is on contacts. You go on the contacts on the phone, go on your name. So your name is Lani, you go on Lani and you share location indefinitely. And he won't clock onto it because it's not a thing that like... So yeah guys, as I was saying, you share the location indefinitely um with the contact thing and then that way you can always know where he is and the reason this is really amazing for obviously finding out what he's doing and whether he's a dirty dog is because at the end of the day he's gonna lie about his where, where about his whereabouts so um thank god for google maps if he tells you he's i'll just give you an example he, if he says he's at studio or he says he's um a football and you know where football is or you know where studio tends to be but really you know that he's just like in fucking Enfield and you google where he is because obviously you know the location and it's a yard like bro like you can pull up you can pull up and show out pull up get me and say what what is it and I heard another tip about cheating when you catch him make sure you catch him make sure you catch yeah so it, it, it's dope but I would just say if you want to catch someone in the act, which is crazy, but if you want to, I would defo, 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 you know, if, if, so if he's somewhere, if he's seeing someone and it's not that far from you and you, you've gone to the location and he's only been in that house 15 minutes, you know, you want to, you want to give it time because you want to catch him in the act. You, th that's a problem with evidence. You never ever want to look like you're stupid or you're dumb. So you need to catch him in the act. Maybe even ring his phone, and he might pick up because he ain't started yet. But if he's not picking up and the phone's just ringing and ringing and ringing, then you know that he's fucking. And that's when you boom, break the door down, pull up on the nigger. <laughs>